of urgency. At Vermont State House. Many of us are strangers to one another, but all of us have one thing in common, and that is that we have had enough. We have seen too many lives lost to gun violence. As gun sense Vermont officials, state representatives, and hopefuls gathered to show support for upcoming background check legislation. The problem is, if you're somebody who knows you can't pass a background test, you can just go on the internet and buy whatever weapon you want for cash, no background check, and do whatever you like with that weapon. The thing that struck me is that when I would go to a gun show, you go and you buy any guns, you hang them on your, your shoulders and so forth, you walk out, there's no checking. That doesn't sit well with gun owner William Badger, and it certainly doesn't sit well with Senate Majority Leader Phil Baruth, who is the lead sponsor of the bill. His fix require all sales to go through a dealer with background checks. Public opinion has shifted dramatically. The Castleton VPR poll in February showed 89% of Vermonters support this step. Although Baruth says the bill won't be introduced until January, there is no better time than now to spark support. August, for some reason, is a tragic month in Vermont. A year ago, Laura Sobel was killed, a DCF worker, at close range with a high-powered hunting rifle. So when people say we have no problem in Vermont, that indicates to me they have very short memories. In Montpelier, Abby Isaacs, NBC5 News.